This build was recommended to me, and it's quite a fun build. Bullet Hell and the Mole. What Bullet Hell does is allow the bullets from the minigun to ricochet into nearby bugs, at the cost of base spread and damage. And the Mole grants the coil gun a lot more damage for each terrain pierced through with the electric trail, and grants better piercing, at the cost of charge speed. Both these overclocks allow the weapons to do something unique, but let's see how they pair together. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> yep, alright, I won't. Alrighty, so I know that I talk about- Oh, hello! Oh, he gives off frost! Hey, hey, wh where are you going, bro? Hey, stop that. <laughs> stop that. <laughs> yes. Go, bullet hell, go. Go. Oh, my lord. Mole is so good. Oh, holy crap. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay. No, wait. No, no, no. Don't move. Don't move. Yeah, there you go. Come here. Yeah, I got the skull. So it is it is spooky, spooky time. They released the Halloween update. So that's cool. Hello, Warden. <laughs> oh my lord. God damn. Mole is just so good. Oh my god. I love it so much. Alright. Kinda wish that they gave us that as like a, a little hat too. That would have been cool to see on the dwarves. So I know I, I've been saying it a lot of my videos, but there's been this guy, Blit Wizbok. He's been making a Steve mod, and as you can see in the bottom left there, it's finally out. The Beast Master Tracker. I believe. Hold on, let me pull it up. Yeah, Beast Master Tracker. Essentially, it, what it does is it gives your, your, you know, your Steve a health bar, and it has the incorporated timer for when Steve's body will disappear, and it's around 20 seconds. So DRG considers your dead Steve's body still alive for whatever reason whenever you get beastmaster back and your steve dies immediately you can't grab a steve because your steve body is still in quotations alive what this mod will do is it helps you keep track of so yeah no so i'm gonna i'm gonna grab a random steve you and yeah so now we have a little health bar and it's interesting to see just how fast your Steve dies without you paying attention. With this mod on, you'll you'll see just how fast Steve dies now, even when you have a guard too. It's like so interesting to see. You never really notice until it's actually there telling you the number of health your Steve has. <laughs> so yeah, no, shout out to Blit Wizbok for making this mod. It's really, really amazing. Bro worked really hard on it. And I got some funny clips of us um, beta testing it. I never knew programming was so much fun. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> this is what I do every day. Send me another Stefani. Yeah. Is this one following me around? Yeah. The, wait, this one's following me around. Is this one mine? No, that one's mine. This one has to be mine. This one's yours, but it's following me. Go away. Hey, Stevie, buddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and summon one. Baby. Oh. Okay, so now I've got his health bar. Now you got two Steves. They are both. Fall. Why is your Steve so? <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, that's interesting. Slow ticking. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? What does what? it mean? That should have worked fine. What? What? <laughs> it's not, give, give me. It's not letting me give one. I know I was mentioning it in my stream, and we were trying to fix a bug that he discovered. So when you disconnect from a server, it no longer keeps track of your Steve. And he was trying to figure out a way to. Oh, well, <laughs> there goes Steve. So yeah, no, see, there's a little timer in the bottom left that tells you when Steve's body is going to disappear. Basically, we were trying to figure out why it wasn't keeping track of 
you know, your Steve's health anymore. And so what we came to find out is that um, DRG doesn't properly get rid of the Steve's body whenever a person disconnects. So when someone tames a Steve and they leave the lobby, the Steve will lose the, the tamed person who tamed that Steve. So then it'll just be a random friendly Steve. What we figured out was, is when you join back, your beast master will be back to full and you can tame another Steve. So at the end of the day, you can actually theoretically get infinite Steves in a server, which is absolutely insane. That's something me and Wizbok both figured out in, in beta testing for this mod, which is absolutely incredible. So yeah, no, so you, you can theoretically get infinite Steves. So yeah, no, so go, go get it. Uh, it's called the Beastmaster Tracker. And um, here, here's something. So yeah, so you can, you can change it between two different styles. There's the full, that is the full health bar, or you can change it to condensed to have the health bar on the bottom. So it's not completely in the way. I know you can also freely move it around your screen. So you can put it like anywhere. You can even have it up here in the top right, right there, or you can have it above your ammo. I'm dying. Yeah, no, I just like to have it right over here next to my health bar because I'm always constantly looking at my health bar. You son of a bitch. Yeah, no, I'm always constantly looking at my health bar. So might as well also look at Steve's health bar too. Thank you, Wizbok, so much for the mod. This is like, man, such an amazing mod. Yeah, no. Anywho, though, on to more pressing news. I did go see the FNAF movie on opening night, at least for here out. It came out a day earlier than what was said. It was supposed to originally come out on October 27th, but I got to see it a day early. So that's cool. So yeah, it was... Okay, so no spoilers for me. What I will say is I really enjoyed the movie. I actually really liked it a lot. I really enjoyed a lot of, you know, the references to the games, seeing what, you know, Scott... Like, what was really interesting is seeing how Scott sees Michael and William. I really enjoyed that a lot. We got to finally see what Michael like looks like in Scott's mind or preference. It was just really cool to see all the different stuff that, you know, he, he came up with and how he played it out in the movie. That was really nice. I will say, I'm just going to say seven out of 10 because someone seeing a normal movie, seven out of 10. But as a FNAF fan, oh man, it was 10 out of 10. <laughs> Definitely loved it and would recommend it. To high hell. <laughs> you know, stun ain't so bad on uh, bullet hell, actually. I know a lot of people actually said that stun is better than the bullet penetration. And I have, I, I'll be honest, I don't really know which one's better. Stun is nice, and so is the bullet penetration. I think it's just play with whatever you want. Still don't have a resupply. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, shit. Gotta start doing arson. <laughs> Oh yeah, also at the movie theater we went to go and see it at, they were selling, um, so, uh, haha funny, me and my girlfriend bought a pizza because haha funny FNAF. No! We bought a cheese pizza, and the box that it came in was a, like, fresh oven baked Freddy Fazbear's pizza <laughs> box, which that's really cool. And I'm actually gonna keep this box. I'm gonna keep this pizza box. Might as well. It's my souvenir for seeing the movie. Oh, owie, okay, you guys are hurting me. <laughs> Have some extinction. Yes, stay in the fire. Can't get a new Steve just yet. Yeah, no, that, that's a really cool souvenir that I've yoinked. It is mine now. My pizza box. I really, actually, I'm yearning for some Nitra, bro. You better go get that. I never would have thought of, to use mole with the this one where you can like just charge up like one and shoot it. It still does really impressive damage actually. <laughs> Halloween skull. You know, I actually knew we were going to get this as the Halloween double XP event because in the sandbox mod in the files, it's already incorporated. So I could. Oh, I'm out. Oh, shit. I could actually spawn in the Halloween skull in the sandbox mod. So I knew that that's what we're going to get for double XP. But in the sandbox mod, it felt like they buffed its health. Like it, it feels like right now they've nerfed its health to high hell, which thank you. It was, it would like literally take me forever to kill the thing in, oh, 
It would take me forever to kill the thing in the sandbox mod. Nope. No, no, no. Set on fire and die. So I'm glad, I'm glad that it's a lot easier to kill this Halloween skull. Because if it was how it was in the, the sandbox mod, oh, I can get a new Steve. Then I think I'd lose my mind. Um, um, walk away from that. Thank you. Yay, Steve. I need a full resupply. I've been running through all of my ammo and there's more bugs. Gimme. Here's all the orcs. Um, I can carry 45 if I find more dice drum. I gotta find dice drum and fast. I haven't explored all, all up there. Okay. Yeah, man, Steve, your health is just like dying. <laughs> nope. 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 Keep my, keep my shield. Might be actually dice drum hidden up here too. Dice drum, dice drum, question mark. Oh my God. Yeah, there's some dice drum there. That was going forever, man. Oh man. What did Steve die to? He lost so much health so fast. Oh, I think I figured it out. <laughs> hey, get away from me. Fire. Hey, where are you? There you go. La 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 la. There you go. Taking all that damage right to the weak point. Hey, what? No. Get out of here, nerd. There you go. <laughs> oh my lord. Wait, there's a machine event? Huh? Well, um, if I just start it up right now and I wait for it to end, I could get the XP for it still. Oh my god, of course there's an oppressor. Why would there? Oh, there's two? This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt me. Oh, run. Just, just start it up. Okay, this will hurt, but... Here I go. Ow! No, I'm not gonna get it in time. Ah, fuck. I wonder if it'll give it to me either way. Almost forgot about that too. Okay, cool. Meh! Aw, oh, man. I kinda wanna wait and see if it will. Ah, uh, it won't. I, uh... Well, we failed! <laughs> Woo! Rocket stud. What I will say is, this build is really fun. Mole is just always just mwah. It's always so good. I love the mole so much. Uh, and with bullet hell, I don't know if I necessarily like how it was built. I think I'm just so used to when the gun overheats, it causes that like AOE fire explosion, but it was still a really, really good build. So, and we survived. Oh, hell yeah, double XP again.